The lion is called the king of the kingdom, for the lion has great power and strength, the power to destroy and the strength to rule. And those who have served the kings of the earth shall be subject to the destruction of the lion. But those who have served the king of all kings shall receive the strength of the lion. The Lord controls all things, for the terror of a king is like the growling of a lion. He who provokes him to anger forfeits his own life. Proverbs 20. For the king's wrath is like the roaring of a lion, but his favor is like dew on the grass. Proverbs 19. And the Lord shut the mouth of the lion when Daniel was thrown in the pit, for it was by his obedience that he was saved. The prophets foretold that the lion would return in the clouds, and in great vengeance and anger he will come in the clouds to darken the days of those who have transgressed him. Isaiah 5, the lion and his army will wage a great war, and the nations will fall by the sword. Isaiah 31, when the lion returns, the wicked will flee, but his people will be bold as the lions. Proverbs 28, and Jacob's prophecy foretold of that Judah would rule, for they are of the lion's whelp. Genesis 49, and Solomon built the temple in the semblance of the kingdom, for on the steps to the throne there were twelve lions, standing there on the six steps on the one side and on the other. 1 Kings 10. For the twelve lions are his twelve apostles, who will judge the nations. Matthew 19. And the lion will be victorious, and his people will find gladness and joy and sorrow and sighing will flee away. Isaiah 35. 